November marks the beginning of Diabetes Awareness Month. Each November, the diabetic community comes together to call attention to the nation's diabetes epidemic. With more on how those with or at risk for diabetes can lead a healthier lifestyle, here's Miles Walker. Diabetes Awareness Month is a time dedicated to ensuring those affected by the disease to become educated, review resources, understand personal risk factors, and learn interventions to reduce their risk. The thing about diabetes that I think there's been a lot of attention to trying to increase awareness is how it can affect not not just all the things that we think of, oh, gee, you can't eat this or that, because that, you know, in this in this day and age, we have a lot of treatment options and a lot of ways to manage those things. But it's important for people to know that it can affect things like their heart and their risk for things like stroke, you know, heart attack, um, as well as, you know, we've traditionally thought of things like risk for um, amputations or blindness. And those indeed are very serious complications. But we also know that we can prevent a lot of that with good diabetes care and that it's just as important to manage some of those other aspects like heart health. While certain forms of diabetes such as type 1 cannot be prevented, others like type 2 or pre-diabetes can, which is why one of the main objectives of Diabetes Awareness Month is to inform people on how leading a healthier lifestyle can pay life-changing dividends. Nowadays, there really isn't one answer for everyone. There are a lot of things that most of us should not, you know, do whether or not we have diabetes. For example, drinking sugary beverages is not a good idea. It's always best to drink things like water, coffee, unsweetened teas, that sort of thing, um, and eat plenty of whole foods like whole grains and vegetables and lean proteins, that sort of thing. But, you know, there are a lot of different ways to go. And we really, you know, one of the benefits, I think, of working with a diabetes educator, hopefully can be that people can learn how to do it in a way that suits them and their lifestyle instead of it being, gee, this is the one way, you know, to manage this. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Miles Walker, Lakeland News. Health officials say many people, 8 out of 10 in fact, who have prediabetes are not even aware they have it. You can visit cdc.gov slash prediabetes slash take the test to take a free online prediabetes risk test. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.